Eric Rung joins us live with details on that protest. Eric. Well, good evening. It just wrapped up about a half hour ago here in Washington Park, and it was really thousands of people, at least 5,000 people, participated in this march, a very peaceful march, which is exactly what organizers wanted here because they wanted to make sure it was the message they were sending that people remember. One, two, three. <laughs> We got to move. We got to march. They came by the thousands tonight, most in mass, trying to social distance from one another, all to demand institutional and social change in this country. This is going to be tough. They marched on Martin Luther King Jr. Drive through Bronzeville, not by accident either. A diverse group of demonstrators. There were the young, the old, and those who have been at the forefront of a movement before. Saving lives. Tonight's march was organized by local religious leaders as well as politicians and policymakers. But it was the people that made this march massive. Everybody sing Black Lives Matter. They called for change, they called for peace, but they made sure to call out his name, George Floyd. He's why we out here. Now, the program ended tonight with organizers telling people to go home. Once again, this all ended at about 8.30, which was a half hour before the curfew begins here in Chicago. They also said, make sure and say a prayer for police officers. The good one. We're in Washington Park. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.